Mr Speaker, I'd like to uh, contribute this afternoon by starting off my uh, piece by inviting that side of the House to join us on this planet. So far this afternoon, we have heard a reinvention of the his and her story of the time that that side of the House was in government. What was left to us was a legacy of red ink. Red ink. We had a falling economic growth of 0.2% annual GDP in the 08-09 December year, down from 3.2%, because we'll find, uh, Mr Speaker, that that side of the House specialised in plummeting rather than rising. They were, except of course, in unemployment, where the unemployment rate at, was 4.6% in the 08-09 December quarter. It was up from 3.4%. High inflation, 3.4% annual CPI. I'm going to get to that. If that member of the House could just still his impatient heart, I'm going to get to where we're going to. A rising current account deficit. The current account deficit built to around 9% of gross de domestic product. 16.1 billion current account deficit for the 08-09 December year, up from 14.4 billion. Annual productivity growth that was only 1.1 per cent. What a, what a significant achievement between 2000 and 2008. But rest assured, this side of the House has a plan, Mr Speaker. We have a plan. It was a plan that brought us into government in 2008, a plan that saw us in 2009 delivering a budget that redirected $2 billion worth of low-value expenditure, all brought in by that side of the House, Mr Speaker. And now we have a plan for 2010. And what New Zealand is thinking, shall we have... Labour on the one hand, which are a spend, spend, spend type of administration, though I haven't even got to the borrowing and taxing side of it yet, or shall we have a preparation for future growth that this government is interested in, where numbers are kept in the core bureaucracy and $2 billion is moved to the frontline public services over the next four years, and another $1.8 billion will be found in budget 2010? Or shall we have the Labour approach? to life, which is borrow, borrow, borrow. On the other hand, we could have the National Party approach to life, where billions of dollars of extra is invested in critical infrastructure. If that member would just care to listen instead of shouting his frenetic statements that nobody is interested in, including the national grid and broadband, directly supports thousands of jobs in our communities and contributes to a stronger economy? Or do we want the Labour approach, which is tax, tax, tax? On the other hand, the national approach, which is to invest a $500 million relief package to help simplify things for small businesses, which we on this side of the House understand are what help grow the economy in order that we can have a sustainable tax basis. Do we want the Labour approach to life, which is spend, borrow, spend, tax, spend, borrow, and so the refrain grows, goes on? Or do we want an approach that sees an RMA simplified so that more people can get into business, more development can occur, more jobs can be made available? Do we want an approach where we undertake major reviews where action actually follows, unlike the approach on that side of the House, which is to have reviews, consult people to death so that they are suffering from consultation fatigue, as opposed to this side of the House, where we actually take action on those things we undertake to do. That's the kind of plan that we have here on this side of the House. Budget 2010, it will see us lift New Zealand's long-term economic performance because we are interested in not just short-term frippery that characterised that side of the House, but in long-term sustainable economic performance. Budget 2010 will outline broad-based reforms for the tax system so it is fairer, leaves the vast majority of households better off and supports faster growth. Budget 2010 will move taxpayers' money to priority public services, spending significantly more on health and education. And as we speak, the Minister of Health has just announced a new bowel, screening, uh, bowel cancer screening test, yet another contribution to sustainable long-term health in our community. So, Mr Speaker, we have a plan. We have a plan, a budget that is good for the economy and for New Zealand families, 
We invite that side of the House to join us on this planet where we are ambitious for New Zealand and have a plan to support those ambitions. Kia ora. The time for this debate has...